we want Senator Byrd to take a great pause. If he thinks that he can vote to compel the Christian folk of West Virginia and other places to give money to the government to kill the innocent, he has lost his mind. And it only cost me four hundred dollars. People would say the image of Obama holding a baby and a doctor stabbing a scalpel in there. Isn't that a little extreme and kind of like, you know, you know, mm -hmm. down the day to debate a little bit? Of course it's extreme, and that's the point. This is a horrific image, but what they're doing in reality is far more horrific. We're trying to jolt people back into reality. Yes, this is horrific, what you just saw, but what they are doing in reality is far worse. So I hope that it wakes people up. Other people say, these are just scare tactics. No, this is a reflection of reality. And if it frightens you, good. Because sometimes reality is frightening. Today we are um, doing a little bit of pushback against Randall Terry of uh, Operation Rescue, which is basically a, a, a conservative right wing nut job. And we actually just heard him talk, and he's really spewing the hate, spewing the. He says he would execute people. There are some people I would execute myself. And yeah, so we're here to basically bring some sanity into the dialogue and say, you know, whatever it is that they're saying that this health health care reform involves killing granny and all of those things that it's just not true. That that's that you know, don't be distracted, people. We need health care reform. Genuine health care reform would be get the government out of it completely, 100 percent. Get out. Leave us alone. We've been able to figure out how to take care of ourselves for millennia, and we'll do it without Uncle Sam. The Savior was born in Bethlehem, not Washington, D.C. There's no way that they can do what they want to do without saving money by death. And that is their ultimate agenda. This is not a health care plan, it's a death care plan. I was actually creeped out. Um, he's a scary individual, and I was happy to see that no one came to hear him. Um, that was reassuring to me because to think that people would rally around this gentleman is a little unnerving. If they said this person has to die, who who do the firing squad? I would do it. What if they were pregnant? Would you kill him then? <laughs> what? What if she was pregnant? Would you kill her then? That's a great question. No, I would say wait till the baby was born. If a woman then committed a capital her. a crime and deserved to die, then sure, so Bonnie you, and Clyde. If if Bonnie was pregnant after killing all those people, I would say let the baby live and then she can be executed. Okay. Just making sure you're staying with what you believe in. <clears throat> Healthcare is a blessing from God and we as the human community have a duty before the Lord to help one another. It's an act of charity and it's an act of freedom. But if someone puts a gun to my head and says, you're paying for my mom to have her teeth fixed, that's not compassion, that's compulsion. It's theft. In, in my opinion, there are three areas where we could have a real crisis if they push this through and they force us to pay for murder. One is there will be people who legitimately say, I'm not paying my taxes anymore. Two, you'll have people that will participate in random acts of vandalism and violence even against buildings, places. And then the third, God forbid, is that some people on the fringe, or some people who've just had it, bring random acts of violence against those who they think are responsible for this murder. Have you all been able to meet with any of the Congress people that you've been protesting? We have out? been, uh, we've met with staff from two or three. <laughs> Some of them, their offices are closed on Saturday and Sunday. Were you able to meet with any of Bird's staff today? No, we're going to go in right now. Oh, well, I mean, we'll just pass the message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did with Senator.